So me and my dad have our chainsaws, which turn out to be the same model, just from different manufacturers, and we're gonna try to clean them up without dogs interfering. It's fucking windy today. So what is on the agenda for today? I was just cleaning the carbs. Okay. Get them running. Get them running good. They're yeah, pretty much the same. Just this one is a bit more uh, uh, marketing length with 42 cc. It's probably the same exact engine. Mine's 40. Yours is 42. You're bigger. It just has. A, it's probably the same engine. Just has a different number on the front. <laughs> probably. It's like how yeah everything's from China is. So this comes out. Oh, it's different. Oh yeah, you don't need full. Oh yeah, so you got oh. Just, Turn it. Yeah. It's nice. See, that's what's nice about that. Your chain starts getting loose. You don't need to go get your tools. And uh, all how that does stuff. this work? Read the instructions. I should tell you. Read the instructions. That's just your tightener. That's just to tighten the chain. You loosen that up. So tighten the knob. To tighten, flip the lever down. Flip it back. So, so do I do that? Or? I think we're, we're going to take it all the way off, so just keep spinning it until it comes off, I imagine. That needs some cleaning out. Wire brush or something I could use with this. You want a small one? Yeah. If you don't mind getting all grease on it. No, I got a full oh. gallery. Here's your fuel. Probably take this plastic off. Uh, I thought we'd take this cover off first. I think this thing top has to come off. Do that. Okay, just I think this it. comes off by itself first. You're not using this? Were you, were you not able to do the thing on the top cap? Well, I stopped because you said it. Oh. <laughs> you never know, they might be different to that extent. Oh, and we might need to take the handle off and everything. Yeah, this is not for, I, I imagine this wouldn't be very good for out the field. No, I mean, usually though, you, I, mean, I haven't cleaned this ever since I bought it, so I mean, it's, I always run stable in it, so I mean, it only lasts so long. Yeah, that's what I was learning. Hey, we don't have to take the hand off. That's good. Hey, and that didn't all come apart oh. in my face. But that is awesome. So these two bolts be the main ones that hold the carburetor on? More than likely. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to take it too far apart. I just have to spray some cleaner down it and blow it out with some compressed air, which should be fine. Because I know it's just the pilot jet. Remember your Grizzly? Yeah. That's what that pilot jet always clogged up on. Oh, so that's why it had those issues. Yeah, this is the same thing. Oh, you're removing that part? I didn't know if I should or not. I'll, I'll go and do that too. But uh, these wires, are you are yours little quick connectors? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let me see if that comes out. Hey, that does. Okay. It's not too bad. This is a bit of an odd shape. I'm just going to remove the drive. Probably just under pressure. Oh, <laughs> got my face. I cannot remove that, so I'm just not going to. Yeah, I don't think we need to remove it all. Just, uh, I'm just clean just, it out. 
getting the carburetor out. I wonder if there's a unique model number between these. Yeah, so it did snap off. So I had a weed eater that did like that and it was a pain I to can, find. I can like just it. push it down. Might use that. No, that's fine. It's a scrap needle. Hey, there we go. So I just pushed it down. Should I remove this plastic piece? That's what I was just looking at. I think you might want to so we can get to the carburetor and get uh, another, another star. It's probably the same size. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, nope. it's a little smaller. Yeah, this one. Because the other two are older than normally. Makes sense. Ooh. <laughs> Glad that happened to you because I can take that out <laughs> before I lose it. All right, now what? Car planer? Yep. AKA brake planer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this machine, yes, it will eat you alive if you're not careful around it. People complain about my safety. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you just don't touch it, it won't kill you. Yeah. Blind yourself yet? Yeah. Okay. So I got contacts for it. Oh, right, yeah. I just squirted into each one of these hoses. Oh, okay. Oh, so you actually got the hoses Yeah, my hose is off on this one. Mine are too flimsy. I'm gonna get myself in line with this. Just get enough in there and then blow it out of there. So, you just took off the stock plate? No, I just took off this bottom. By taking off these two? No, just... That one, okay. Oh hey, it's actually like a little mask down there, not just a place to collect dirt. Look at that. That'll be right in the face. Well, at least that mash is really nice to paint now. Oh, mash right here. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's like a filter. Okay. You can see that one. Uh, I think but, it, I, I think, think, think you just have have it. Yeah, it probably did. So I don't have my reading glasses on. I can't um, see that close. When you're a kid, uh, chainsaws probably weren't nearly as cheap as they are now. No. I mean, for all it is easy to, to shit talk like the cheap Chinese manufacturing. It is cheap Chinese manufacturing. Uh, cheap sex very nice. My grandpa had a saw service. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna get dirty anyway. Yeah. Just, just when we put it back together, I don't want stuff falling down into I'll it. hold my fingers over it and close my eyes. <laughs> Trust me? Ah, sure. You made me, so. Well, half made me. I'm gonna face you. Whatever switches. Yeah, my, me, me and my dad just, like, this fell off. I wonder what the fuck that was. It's the base to, like, the stop thing which is stupid that doesn't have it a lot of people take those off and they cut their faces open <laughs> okay so now what are we doing we're going back on yeah okay and this one is the added benefit of having to have the tube figured out oh it's out of this a throttle right Or. 
Maybe that's dry rotten a little bit. I can't even see the section that has the, the hole in it. Either way, I found that cutting the hose at a diagonal angle allows it to go in just enough to where I could grab it with a pair of angled needle noses. I don't have a pair of angled needle noses, so we'll order some hosing and we'll also order pair of needle nose pliers and that should be enough to go in and grab that and pull it through. It's going together fine. Yeah, so we might need to still undo it. Yeah, but it's... Because you were just holding it down, right? Yeah, it's barely, but if I go full throttle, it wipes out. So, yeah. so it's usually a main jet, or it could be the... We should also, also clean the spark plugs. Yeah, it could be the... the spark plug cleaning, you just hook it, heat it up with a, with a torch, right? And burn away the carbon? That, or I always use a uh, wire brush. Okay. Just the older I get, the worse I hate cold. It's <laughs> just rough today, for sure. Yeah. So, um, it's been a couple weeks. I ordered some dog. I ordered some fuel line and some 90 degree needle nose pliers. Yeah, should be enough for what we need to redo my fuel line. What was? What did you discover about yours? I discovered on mine. There's a air fuel screw mixture adjustments right here that yeah. we can tweak. So that might be some of the issue? Yeah, that's why it was bogging when I was starting it. Well, that's good. So we, we probably don't have to tear apart the carburetor mm -hmm. anymore. I don't think we would. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, that's it. That actually works physical. Stop eating the end of the fuel line, dog. <laughs> oh, dog. You don't have this problem in your shop, do you? No, because I have a cat. For scissors or a knife or something. Mm. Tin snip? No. It's not going at all. Those will work. I think your knife's dull. It probably is. Yeah. So that little bit goes in there. And I can feel it, so that's good. Hey! I got it. Sweet! Look at that. And then, I'm not going to really cut that too well. I think, uh, I'm not, they had rebuild kits where you can get this filter again, but I figure this filter's probably okay. And I feel bad for throwing one away, you know. This would be one of those things that would just get stuck in the toolbox for. Yeah a long time because you wouldn't want to throw it away because you think maybe you use it again but you don't know, buy another one. So you get your snips on this one too. Maybe. I tried this. They aren't really, they're good for wire but not for this. I think my issue was I was trying to do like really long. Did I go to something else? Yeah. That's not really that there. There. What, what, what did it go to? Pretty sure it went inside there. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's the shit thing. Okay. Mm -hmm.
or if you took off your full starter and everything and then put that on next. Well, this goes first. You did? Yeah. So I think you're right, yeah. So does it have to go out, I guess, to get it on? Might have to pull a little. Plastic shroud thing just getting caught up on it. So that every chainsaw's got an L and an H. H is for your high RPM and L is for lower. Ah, I see. So you might not have to adjust yours. If... I bet this probably came with a little key. Yeah. And I expect you to buy another one if you lose it. That's what it looks like. Let's look it up online. Okay. Oh my god. They do, they do expect you to have like a key type thing. I wonder if a piece of tubing will go over it. Actually, that's a good idea. Yeah, ha ha ha. Piece of tubing, because it's just a no. Small one, I think. Oh, look at that. My oh, dog's yeah. going nuts. Oh, I think it moved. Okay. It's funny, on my propane mower, the spark plug is just like perfectly clean. <laughs> Everything's clean. But whenever I open up the uh, carburetor, like all the more captans from the propane smell have just stuck in there. So it's like concentrated propane smell. Huh. And it's just nasty. It'll make you puke if you open up the carburetor. But the oil's like seven years old and it's still clear, so I think. Just a little bit more, That's but what I'm thinking. don't have the blade and all that stuff on yeah. it, so I think it's fine. That works kind of okay. I might have accidentally bumped one of the things in there, so I might be set wrong. Blow it all, or mm -hmm. that's good. Oh. But I can't get it to go to half choke. Good. 
You didn't turn it off, like it just kind of felt uh, one off on its own. Yeah, right? but with it, with no blade on it and everything. <laughs> yeah, struck me. <laughs> oh, these aren't too sharp. I'm gonna buy them a sharpener. Yeah. Start sharpening like sharp myself, myself. Not too tight, right? Yeah. Are some window frames in there? Some of those ones I gave you guys? Yeah, I ended up breaking on me. Oh, well, I'll take that back. Yeah, if you want it back, it's fine. Because those are worth a lot. Wasn't wasn't expecting you to throw them away. I had it set out. It broke on me. On my dad. I was uh, working down in the shop. Well, they're all, they all kind of break. It's fine. Yeah. I'll go grab it. It's like 80 bucks in wood there. Things up with that. It's like the same issue you had. Let me try mine. Yeah, it's You right. have the blade on, right? I didn't even pay attention. Not, probably not. Let's try mine. Let's see. Yep, mine's doing the same thing. I think it's just uh, adjustment. Let's postpone this until uh, warmer weather. Yeah. So we're gonna postpone this. Do you think we should end the video here? Or it's not really much of a resolution, right? I think we should, unless you part two. We're just waiting. Let wait. it go for, it'll be a nice long video. Oh, was that the choke thing? That was the choke. There's something here. That's... What the fuck? Like that? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you expect for... Cheap fight Chinese. Fight in the dump. <laughs> well, I know, but... Well... Fuck it. <laughs> anyway, maybe I think that it won't idle. Maybe it. maybe it would hit it back. You know, let's just this thing's a pain in the butt. Let's just make it parts for yours, okay? It's fine. Cause, I mean, after all, I did. I like my electric one a little bit better because it's quiet and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't kind of backfire. I wonder if I could retrofit this onto mine. Let's do it right now. Because I, I love that quick mm -hmm. change. I'll put your glass up here. So yeah. So it doesn't break any more engine parts. Yeah. Right <laughs> over your glasses break the chain. I know. Up a little bit. I don't need to save it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's take that off. You have a load of purple, green, and red now. I can't believe my fucking glasses broke the carburetor. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll work. Maybe. Well, let's see why it wouldn't. But then you don't have a... How does the... Right? I'm just curious the adjustment. 
the adjustment works. I think it automatically pushes it out and then you have a... You gotta use that. You know, yeah. So you or, here, un undo it and I'll pull it here. out. Here. It's about instructions. Oh, do you need instructions though? Loosen the knob, one and a half turns. Okay. One. That's good. Turn a little tighten. Yeah, it works. Wow, look at that. I'll be dim. Well, at least we found something useful out of this whole endeavor. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Maybe a little more. <laughs> That's nice. It's still drooping. <laughs> I think. I'm going to put this one in here so you don't lose the parts. These yeah. chains are stretched for the bar. All mm. right, now you have a second chain, a second bar, everything. Smells like it's flooded now. Yeah. My electric one is electric storage. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. Here's the pipe if you want to zip pipe. suffocate ourselves in here. Yeah. Let me open that window. Got that two stroke. Let me try it. Yes. Can't see if we can get it on there. 